already they've been at Arsenal invincible Martin Keown because of Arsenal's drop off tell me what happened this morning oh no just you know you're travelling in there's a few smirks isn't there people were oh uh, what happened to your lot yesterday big grin on their face but you, you have to suck it in don't you really and use it I suppose you can't use it now really uh, when you're a player and when it hurts when you get so close and you uh, that dream everything uh, blows up almost in your face you come back it's how you come back from adversity because they would have had that dream they, they've lived the dream Arsenal for many months thinking mm. they can be champions today it's been simply ripped apart um, how, how did you credit, react to that, uh, that bit of oh, no, not a problem I, I asked him what team he supported he said he, spoke Man- he supported Manchester United so well he would have in the south to be, uh, to be honest it was, it, was, it was like listening to the Sky commentary yesterday how biased is, is, is the commentary team it's frightening I, I as much as they're great, oh, hang on. And what Martin <laughs> Tyler is a great professional, but he cannot hide that he just he simply doesn't. It hurts him that Arsenal might win a game of football. Martin Tyler, it hurts Martin oh, Tyler honestly, that Arsenal win a game. We of know football. that Neville. We know that Neville's got the problem. He was almost apologising for. Um, I've <laughs> lost my mind when I, we should be sending Martinelli off. Uh, no, 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 no. You know, not at all. You go with your instinct. So there we are. As a poke in the eye to a commentator. I should be more respectful. Martin's a great commentator. But please, Sky, don't put him on the Arsenal games anymore. It's really hard. Listen. <laughs> it's a touch of paranoia this early on a Monday it might morning, be. Martin. It might be. But who cares? It's just, we should say what we feel. Did you did you feel that when you played? Because he commentated when you Not were really, playing. I really. I never really listened, did I? I was out there playing. <laughs> <laughs> I meant when you listen back to it. Did you ever think <laughs> when it, when it started? When then? you hear the commentator saying, "Oh, it's a great professional foul. Look at that Arsenal on the counter attack there. Brighton did well to stop them." You know, it gets in the way. Gets in the way. L- here, listen, Martin. If you're listening, listen to it. Listen to yourself, and you tell me if you're not really. You don't want Arsenal to win, do you? Come on. Wow. Martin see, Keown I, has gone there. See, I would morning. have left that alone if I was Martin. I would have not gone down that route because all you're going to get is more people turning around saying, ultimately, this is your team. Your team didn't do the business. It's they a lost. sideshow what I'm talking about. It, we're it talking, did, none of it affects yeah, the performance, does it? But Jim, you know, he's got, he's got me. He's come after me. But I, I think the biggest <laughs> no, problem... You've no, you volunteered it. it. <laughs> yeah, but no, no. The biggest problem for Arsenal... It, it, it yesterday was what happened earlier in the day Man City winning 11 games on the bounce it's really difficult on the day of a game and this is where I was sort did, of did, did the Arsenal players really in their back of their minds thought I know a team that's languishing at the bottom of the league that couldn't beat a rug most of the time and got one yes. result last week <laughs> yes. are going to turn over Man City <laughs> but it was a very good result wasn't it it was, was, a, five, it was, it, it was a 5-1 win against Brighton a team fine, that we know but, were there but, but, today but I'm talking about the, the fact that Arsenal players it's being alleged reacted to the fact that out of nowhere, Man City beat Everton. Oh, give over. They all was, knew they were going to beat it, Everton. Fo- Everyone knew Man City it, were going to beat Everton. It was a false dream, wasn't it? Even it was Everton false, fans knew it. it. It was, but I mean, you have to say, though, that it was. It gave a little bit, didn't it? You thought, hold on, uh, maybe Everton could do something with the Evertonians there, the yeah. atmosphere. Um, of course, it's been 10 defeats at home. That was, te- you know, you for, possibly, for Everton this Marcy, season. Honestly, you cannot possibly tell me, and you shouldn't tell me or even want to tell me that the players are going to react to the fact that a pretty much nailed on outcome which is Man City which are arguably the best team in the country arguably the best team in Europe well, okay, beat let me Everton tell you. That so as a former professional time, as poor. a former professional when you're preparing for a game okay, the worst the worst thing you can have is that your rival is playing the first thing and you're watching so you're preparing Man, for your game you're like doing it doesn't sound, but it doesn't sound no, 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 I'm just explaining it doesn't sound you've like asked you've, you've got asked to do your own job haven't you of course you do but I'm explaining what the players went through. I'm talking you back through what actually happened. So the day of the game, they're watching. So they compound it. They're then, watching they? <laughs> City, and they realise finally they, it's, they, we can't win this. That's eleven wins on the trot, Man City. So they made just, four I'm changes. I'm just trying to picture the Arsenal dressing room then. Yes. So, oh no, City have won three yeah, so, And who's commentating? Martin Tyler. So, so, oh God, we've no chance. And there's somebody. Yeah, but, that, with, but that's my fault. So you can ridicule me now. Dead. So let me just talk to you about what's happened on the day of the game. The whole stadium's a little bit flat. They've all seen that City have just won again. Let's make it yeah. even flatter. 35 Let's minutes. Let's go and get our heads 35 handed to a by Brighton. 35 minutes into the game and the 2-0 up. Like Man City, they're superb. Absolutely superb. And you think it's and, was flat and, because And of then the all of a sudden you're playing against a very stubborn, very well-organised, awkward Brighton team. Yeah. Now, Arsenal, infamy, ma- Arsenal, infamy. Infamy. Ma- Arsenal have infamy. made three really poor mistakes in the game. But Arsenal were in the game to the 86th minute. 
But they made changes to try and win it. And all the time you have to keep playing catch up. And you can't afford to do that. But what I'm saying was they would have been a little bit they'd have been a little bit flat going into the game because of what they saw. But there's absolutely no excuse for them being flat or the atmosphere to be flat going into that game, Martin. I'm telling you the human reality when somebody realizes they can't win it. Yes, but the human it hits you between the eyes. Look even in a very good team in 99, we list that roster out on a point and we made Man United go all the dis- all the way to the distance and we could only just about do it. It's been tough for this Arsenal team and they've got... The squad's not strong, strong enough, Jim. Mm. We won the league in, at Old Trafford in 2002. Wiltord playing up top with Canoe. Where was Burkamp? Where was Henri? They weren't there, were they? Burkamp was on the bench. Henri was injured. But the squad was strong enough to fit, to do the job. This squad isn't and that's... That's all. The 11's not bad. Martin, I've got to say, the, the message is coming in. You, you, I don't you, care what the messages got, say. You, you need I'm to telling you my yourself. message. <laughs> oh, well, hear your message, and I think Martin Tyler's heard your message well, as well. Well, game on. Somebody let's passed Martin Key on a tissue. Please, the tears are coming. Um, so many people getting in touch just uh, off the back of your, your, your opening salvo this morning. Oh, dear Martin, where's the passion, the drive of the champions, the love of the battle? Did Arteta not show his players enough love yesterday? Martin, what happened yesterday? Was it really that result at Goodison that put the boys off? I mean, Martin... Was that the, the guy on the train? Was it, was at the, at, at the end of the day, they came up short. Yes. Surely that's it. Forget yes. Goodison. Forget Tyler in front of the microphone. Forget everything else. Sad to say, they came up short. Yeah, they did, yeah. But, you but just, you, that's you, it. Yeah, you're so... Oh, we, that's it. We all pack up then and then. We but don't bother you, coming back. They build upon I'm not this. Saying that. They build upon this, Jim. This this is what Arsenal do. So, like, but what, they did well, pack like, up them by Arsenal will now be sort of eight, what would they be? 18 points potentially better off this year than last year. Six six victories. So, it's been a whole lot better than previously. Do you agree with this? Tell Martin that they, they lost the title battle when they went to Manchester City and lost so heavily. No, that, that's no they it. lost it. No. That sent no, no, a no, message that, that night, certainly. No, no they lost it when they didn't beat Southampton. You go two goals behind against Southampton. You you can't explain that one. They lost you, it. You have they to lost win those matches. Drew with West Ham. Drew with Liverpool, and Drew with Southampton. That's when they lost it. They didn't lose it by like like you say, Martin. But the better thing to have done. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to behave. But the better thing to have done is not to sit here and suggest that on, on one hand professionalism comes to pass, and on another hand people go into a game sod the fans, sod the aspirations for the football club to finish high as we possibly can. We're all feeling a bit low. So we can't perform today against Brighton, who aren't awkward, by the way. They're a very good side now, played your side. Um, so with that in mind, the better attitude would be... M- Martin Tyler's commentary is an incidental. It's yeah, yeah, irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. Of course it is, yeah. So it's nothing to do with the backdrop. M- Gary Neville's bias but we talked about relevant. It. We it's talked about, about it off-air before we came on air, so certain people Arsenal pushed me to, to say it. I didn't really want to come here with Nobody that. Nobody pushed you to but, say but, it. You but, said it. Martin, you, pos- you, you, you positively lassoed it. me out there to ask me, did I yeah. think Martin Tyler and Gary well, Neville... Is, is he, I think, I think you tell me, tell me then. Get the Arsenal fans, they've got to listen to it. There's only 60,000 in the stadium, but most of us, there's millions of us listening at home. Ask them what they think. What, you think he's anti-Arsenal? Yes, I do. Get All right, out. let's get it out there. Come on, let's get it out there. <laughs> let's phone Martin himself. He's probably doing nothing on a Monday morning, is he? I don't know. Um, should there be pride in coming a long way second best in the end, though, as, as regards Arsenal? Is it wrong to paint Arsenal season as a success? Because when you look at it, and without being too heavy on them, but of course it's hard not to be at this moment. Out of the Europa League at the last sixteen, out of the FA Cup at the fourth round, and out of the League Cup in the third round. So. If it wasn't for the Premier League and the Premier League ride has been a great one, is it not pretty much a poor season apart from that? Anyway, g- give us a call on that. Uh, Arsenal Invincible, Martin totally Keown is of order, here. Jim. Totally um, out of order, Not happy at Martin Tyler uh, with you his either. commentary. Not happy at me. <laughs> not happy at anybody who might come in the studio in the next five to ten minutes. And certainly not happy uh, that t- the, the stadium at the Emirates was somewhat flat because, to an extent, of the events and the scoreline coming out of Goodison when Manchester City won and won so comfortable. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.